Hey, good morning. Salam alaikum, John Wally. Um, my name is Campbell Martin. I'm currently a Peace Corps volunteer serving in the Gambia. Um, and I'm really excited to take you around today and show you what life is like on the day-to-day -day basis. So uh, come along for the ride. I'm going to be doing a little bit of voice over over this because I'm excited to share and some things need more context. So first of all is breakfast. This is going to be something called gaudi. It's kind of similar to porridge but using kous. Now we're taking a walk to school. Um, I'll spend usually about half the day here. But of course, it's not just teaching. I'll have to do some other activities as well, such as tending to my garden. Each of the students in grades four, five, and six will have their own plot of land. In addition to teaching, I also help make teaching aids. So here we are putting up some of the alphabet in our kindergarten class. But then, of course, as soon as I finish some letters, you know I gotta start on the next poster as well. After this is one of the larger projects I have started on, which is building a fence around the school. So what you're seeing here is uh, one of our teachers, Mr. Jata, explaining to the students why we want a fence around the school. And now, after we've explained it to them, now I'm soliciting a vote from, this is currently grade six, so I'm asking for grade six. So grades four, five, and six all voted, and they all agreed that they wanted a fence. After my work at the school, I gotta take care of my own business at home, so here's me fetching water in order to do some laundry. Oh, Sara, I'm heavy water guy. Oh. Hey, hey, yo. So this is um, Gambian tea. It's green tea with a lot of sugar. Um, Gambians will cook this or yeah, we'll cook this like all throughout the day. Um, and especially when I'm doing laundry, my host brother, Sada, or my host mom will always uh, hand me a cup for some, for an extra shot of energy. I'm always looking for ways for gender equitable practices and breaking down gender norms. And an easy way to do this is for me, a man to be doing my laundry. And I set a great example because now my younger host brother, Musa, um, is always excited to help me put the clips on my laundry. What you're seeing here is one of our partner programs, Toastown, which does adult education, and I'm attending one of their meetings. And finally, I'll finish off the day hanging out with my family, reading, playing with the children, all things like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, gotta end the day with some good old fashioned rice for dinner. Thank you again for joining me. Loved having you along for the ride. Hi, my name is Jane Martin. This is my husband, Reed, and our son, Campbell, has been in the Gambia since last June. So he's there, been there for nine months. And we want to talk to you about how easy it is to communicate with Campbell while he's out there. Reed. Yeah, we communicate with Campbell pretty much every day via WhatsApp. Um, his village has no electricity. He gets electricity via solar panels to charge his devices. It's got no running water. It's got no Wi-Fi, but he does have cell service, right? So we communicate via WhatsApp on data. Um, and there's a, there's an app online, a website where you can, we send him uh, data and it's less expensive in Africa than in the US. There's a village not too far away with Wi-Fi and he's there every week or so. And so we talk to him uh, on the phone every two or three weeks, but we've been amazed uh, how easy and how frequent it has been to communicate with him. Yeah, and very grateful. <laughs> very grateful to be able to talk to him as regularly as we do. It's important.